What up, guys? Another bro talk. Okay, so this bro talk, straight to the chase, is going to be about how to gain as much strength as possible in a short period of time. Naturally, unnaturally, it doesn't matter. You can apply this either way. I mean, I've applied it both ways. Obviously, you're going to get more gains if you do it unnaturally, but at the same time, like, you're still going to see... You're still going to see a lot of gains if you do it naturally. So, basically, it all depends on how you pyramid your sets, right? So, back in the old days, geez, my hair is a little crazy, um, whatever. Um, but back in the old days, when I very first started, like, working out strength, and this really wasn't that long ago, um, it was only just, like, five years ago, something like that. I basically would think about things in a very structured way. So the person that I worked out with, his dad was a bodybuilder. He's the guy that taught me how to work out. And basically I did everything in supersets and I did everything in eight to 12s, right? And I didn't eat enough, right? So doing that, I think the biggest I ever got was 155 hitting the 75 pound dumbbells for eight to 12, right? And that would be five sets of eight to 12. I usually did things in three to five sets, just like everyone else. Um, fast forward to a couple years ago, <clears throat> I basically started, um, maybe this was like three, three or four years ago. I was like, okay, I kind of went through some relationship struggles and stuff like that. I wanted to hold on to strength. So I would dial back the reps and I'd be doing like five sets of five, right? So basically I progressed through five sets of five until I was benching 225, right? And I was doing 225, five by five. And that pushed me up to the point where like basically I would do weeks where I'd transition what I would do my working sets on because honestly, I know a lot of people believe dumbbell press is an auxiliary, but I don't really think of it as an auxiliary. I think it's a working set. Sorry, I got fries in the oven. Um, so I think a dumbbell press is a working set. It depends on how much weight you put on it, right? So you see some guy hitting like 45 pound dumbbell press. Yeah, that's an auxiliary movement. But hey, you see some guy pushing 120 pound dumbbells incline. That's a working set. Like, I don't know. Yeah, go push that stuff after hitting everything. And like, I still do. But like, obviously, there's some enhancement there. So which minimizes my fatigue. But all I'm saying is basically there was a point where I was pushing five by five. I got five by five, 225. And then I remember I just kind of came in the gym one day and I was like, you know, I kind of want to see how much I can push. So I put like, I want to say it was like 255 on or 245. I don't even know. Maybe it was 265. All I know is I put it on. I got two reps. I had my homie spot me and I was like, holy shit. I was like, I've never done that. And then that same day, I put 275 on and I barely failed it. Like, I remember I like hit it, push it up and like, I stopped right before the rack, right? Right before. Um, so I was like, oh damn, like this is a reality. Like I'm actually getting pretty strong. So this moment was very core in my thought process for gaining strength because for whatever reason, it created this addiction in my mind that sparked it, right? And this is really what led to me becoming enhanced and everything like that. Like, I really am not the guy that like super, super cares about my physique. I would like to look full and like good, but like that is not why I became enhanced. It was so that I could lift more weight right? That's all I really cared about at the time. Now I'm kind of mixed, but like, I would like certain attributes of my body that like change very slowly to change more quickly. They still don't, doesn't really matter. My bench strength is definitely up when I'm on, but it's like, okay, I can bench 315 or I can bench 315 for reps. It's not like, I don't know. It's like 315 is my max natty or like 355 is my max and not natty. So it's just one of those things kind of uh, it's like not really worth for someone that's like just going to jump into it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, the gains you're going to see are not what you think.
at least from just test, right? Like, um, I don't know. At some point I'll go to like Thailand to get pharmaceutical grade kind of stuff and like do that whole thing and we'll see how that is. But um, at this point I would say don't do it. Um, basically, I move from the five by five to pyramiding up to a top set of two, two to one reps, right? Like my mind kind of was like, okay, three to one because I was so attached to that old mentality of eight to 12. And then five by five after that. And I will still say that if you want to build strength, five by five is probably the most core step in building like, like powerful strength, like functional strength to a point. Um, but the thing about it is that once you get to that next step, your body needs to get used to holding very large amounts of weight, right? So basically what I'm saying is that, okay, you got your five by five, 225. The first time you pick up 275, it's still gonna feel really, really heavy. And then when you come back down from 275, that 225 that once felt heavy is gonna feel light after the 275. So it's all about kind of like your body's adjustment to the amount of weight that it's holding, like on your joints and everything like that. So like when I pick up 315 for the first time, it feels heavy. Like, but then I, I bring it down to my chest, I push it back up, it feels heavy all the way through, but it feels about as heavy as the 275 did when I go from 225, 275, 315. You know what I mean? So at a point I just started skipping the 275 and just went straight to 315 from 225. Um, but basically the point what I'm saying is that there's going to be a point in your workout whole thing if you're powerlifting or doing anything like that where you need to push yourself to a top single and the thing about it is that it's kind of a fine balance so a lot of people they're like <clears throat> they kind of hate on that whole like oh I feel good today so I'm gonna hit my max but like it depends especially on genetics and just who you are and your recovery and kind of the plan that you have but basically like I would when I was natural I would do it in one week I would push my max the next week I would do kind of a recovery and then I push my max again so like it's just one of those things you need to consider right so basically what I do is I would do like bench press dumbbells or bench press is my working set and then the next three days dumbbells because basically what I do is a three on one off and I stopped taking breaks at this point in time so I literally wasn't it was like seven days a week working out but it would be like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday would be chest, shoulder, tries, arms and back, legs and abs. And then I would, boom, chest, chest, shoulder, tries, arms and, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. Um, but all I'm saying is, and this is the main takeaway from this whole thing. So start with your sets of 8 to 12 if you're new. Work to your sets of 5, you know, 5 by 5. My stomach making noises. Um... Work to your sets of five by five. Once you get past that point, the only time I really come back to five by fives is if for whatever reason I'm trying to work through a plateau that I'm not working through by pushing top singles. So the thing is, is you're building strength, you're building strength, you're building strength. You got to test it at some point, right? So keep that in mind when you're working out. Um, the negative drawbacks obviously i got addicted to lifting heavy weight i get injured all the time all the freaking time if you're lifting heavy 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 and you're top three to one you're gonna get injured all the freaking time if you don't want to get injured don't do it do five by fives you won't get injured literally i did not have an experience like when i was pushing five by fives i come in the gym one week when i was on a heavy heavy bulk right eating five thousand calories a day I would come in the gym and keep in mind, naturally I put on 47 pounds in a year. So I'm not exaggerating this at all. And this applies to anyone who's natural. I'd come in, I'd hit my five by five of 70 pound dumbbells or 75 pound dumbbells, right? The next freaking week I was up like three pounds and all of a sudden I was pushing the 80 pound dumbbells. And then the next week, the 90 pound dumbbells. 
And then the next week, 100, you know? And so basically, it, it was around 100, 110 that I kind of plateaued with it because I started incorporating a lot more bench and a lot less dumbbell press. But like, initially, I was making gains like that. So it's like, you see how the, like the ramping goes? And it's not gonna be week to week, but it's like, you're gonna know, you know? It's like, okay, I picked up the 95 pound dumbbells and these ones feel heavy. I'm not gonna get my full five by five. Okay, we're gonna stick with these until I get this five by five. And then, boom, once we get that five by five, we're pushing that up to the 95s. Once we get that to a five by five, we're pushing that up to hundreds. And the same thing applies with your bench, All right? So keep in mind, I keep saying keep in mind, but if you don't wanna get hurt, don't work up to your top threes to singles, honestly. Threes are a lot safer, doubles and singles, you're gonna get hurt at some point and you're not even gonna be aware that it happened. Your adrenaline's pumping, you're so addicted to this shit, right? But yeah, I will say, five by fives are the key to building functional strength in the gym. So there you go, that's the key. This is the key. I love you guys. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. I know that was a long talk about literally just me beating that same thing in your head. But if you're a small guy, if you're a fat guy, eat a lot of food, eat a lot of protein, make sure it's good food. I've been eating a lot of crappy food lately, which sucks for my life. But at the same time, I'm having a reasonably good time about it. So whatever. And I'm making gains in the gym and that's what matters to a point. So bye bye fives. Push that weight up. Keep pushing that weight up. If you notice that you're just sticking with the same freaking weight for a long time, eat more and push that weight up. Don't be a turd butt. You know what I mean? Like, try harder, bro. Okay, I love you. Have a wonderful day. You guys are amazing. Peace.